Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Tiger Woods dismantles reporter on live TV after trying to get him to call Trump racist. Golfing legend Tiger Woods has chosen the high road, refusing to be baited by the media. President Trump and Woods have known each other for a number of years, with both golfing together in the past. The subject of their relationship was brought to the forefront during a news conference Sunday following Woods' final round 70 at the Northern Trust. Woods was initially asked whether his relationship with President Trump would be considered professional or personal. Woods replied, Well, I've known Donald for a number of years. We've played golf together. We've had dinner together. I've known him pre-presidency and obviously during his presidency. The reporter tried again, asking Woods' opinions of the president's decisions to tighten U.S. immigration policies. The reporter asked, At times, especially 2018, I think a lot of people, especially colored immigrants are threatened by him and his policy, what do you say to people who might find it interesting that you have a friendly relationship with him? Woods' answer gave the reporter nothing. No ammunition. No racial innuendo to exploit. No controversy. Nothing. He simply stated, He's the President of the United States. You have to respect the office. No matter who is in the office, you may like, dislike personality or the politics, but we all must respect the office. The reporter tried yet a third time, asking Woods how he would explain such a friendly relationship with President Trump in light of his current ongoing feuds with many NBA and NFL players. President Trump has been very vocal in his objections to the ongoing protests being staged by NFL players during the national anthem which they claim is in protest of racial inequality and social injustice. He famously revoked White House invitations to NBA clubs after players publicly stated they planned to refuse to attend what under prior administrations had been traditional visits. Woods refused to be baited and when asked for further clarity with the reporter asking if he had any more to say regarding the state of race relations in discourse, Woods shut the reporter down, stating, No. I just finished 72 holes and really hungry. According to Sports Inquirer, Woods was then escorted to a waiting car and departed for his private jet and a flight home to Florida, where he plans a few days off and some putting work before Friday's next U.S. PGA playoff event near Boston. What was abundantly clear was that Woods was uninterested in race baiting or in bashing the president. It was also very clear he was not interested in again becoming a fodder for the same media looking to hold him up as the latest example the token person of color to hate the president. Woods knows what it is like to have every aspect of your life subject to debate, discussion, and dissection across the country. A gifted golfer with what was once considered one of the greatest careers in the history of sports, that career spiraled out of control in part due to a combination of injuries, infidelities, a car wreck, and poor decisions. As a result, many of his endorsement partners dropped Woods in an effort to steer clear of the controversy including companies like ATT, Gatorade, Gillette, Golf Digest, and Tag Hoya. But Tiger's biggest partner, Nike, stuck with him. Over the next few months, Woods released several statements. In those statements, he admitted he had been unfaithful to his wife, Ailey Nordegren. In February 2010, he gave a televised statement in which he said he had been in a therapy program, famously saying I thought I could get away with whatever I wanted to. He then asked for privacy for his family. Over the next few months, Woods released several statements admitting he had been unfaithful to his wife, but asking for privacy. However, in February, 2010, he gave a televised statement in which he said he had been in a therapy program, famously saying, Undergoing several more surgeries due to various injuries sustained throughout his professional sports career, with a fourth back surgery on his back in just four years, Woods was also charged with DUI in 2017. And yet despite the hardship and controversy, in April 2018 Fortune magazine references Woods as the favorite to win golf's most prestigious tournament, the Masters. Fortune adds, observers are calling the plausibility a miracle, and it could be one not just for Woods' career, but golf in general, as the sport struggles to reel in a younger generation disinterested in the game's slow pace, pricey equipment and maddening difficulty. Golf has dealt with declining television ratings in recent years, but a healthy, well-performing Woods has already led to a substantial spike in viewers. Last month, Woods' second-place finish in the Valspar Championship led to the PGA Tour's highest ratings in five years, according to the Associated Press. Woods is also reviving the golf industry itself. Bridgestone told Reuters that Woods' presence on the green this year has increased the average basket value of its products by more than 120 percent compared to the same period last year when he wasn't competing. His endorsement, that we make the best ball, 
is more valuable than all of the science and data that we throw out to the consumers, Bridgestone CEO Angeli Logan told the outlet. It is just ridiculous that we can show them hundreds and thousands of testings with robots and projectile guns that we are the best ball, the most accurate ball. And the consumer doesn't believe us until Tiger says, yeah that's true. But as a result of suffering those years of hardship, Woods learned how important loyalty is and what true friends are and President Trump is publicly voicing his appreciation. On the Monday directly following the Sunday news conference, President Trump posted to Twitter his appreciation of Woods and his refusal to be either partisan or provocative. President Trump tweeted, The fake news media worked hard to get Tiger Woods to say something that he didn't want to say. Tiger wouldn't play the game, he is very smart. More importantly, he is playing great golf again. In 2016 Trump posted a picture of himself, his grandson Kai, and Tiger on a course, also. Many have tried since Woods refused to speak ill of the president to make much of the longtime friendship Woods has enjoyed with President Trump remarking that the two have played golf together many times over the years. However, Woods has also played golf with former presidents Bill Clinton, George H. W. Bush, and Barack Obama. As Woods himself noted when asked to dish the details his current relationship with President Trump, we've played golf together. We've had dinner together. I've known him pre-presidency and obviously during his presidency. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.